today again if you missed it a uh, record for the date hottest ever in june uh, 103 now and that humidity looks low but remember the hotter the air is the more moisture it can hold so 103 with 31 percent humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31 percent humidity and it is muggy out there <laughs> Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. Look, no harm done. I'll give you a pass, but listen. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Then get it fixed. It's not complicated, Toad. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I called you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Bigby, before he completely tears up the place! I should probably go handle this. Yes, please. Thank you.
furry prick go shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside! You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? Hey, look at me! Let's go. Take a look. Take a good look. You know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off. Damn you! No way! Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> you fucker! All right, everyone. <laughs> what are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. Shut up. Oh, fucking shit. You bugged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Seriously, I need to know if you're okay. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. 
Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved the little red riding hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Hey, what did I say? I said be nice or you wait out. Come on. <laughs> By all means, take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. Couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. <laughs> Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be I'll kill you, you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Guy's <laughs> having a bad day. That makes two of us. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Beautiful. Thank you. before we probably have we all sort of knew each other at one point or another but 
things change, I guess. I guess. Shit. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. How much was the Oja? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh... It's 20... 47... 8... 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just... take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. That's gonna leave a mark. Or maybe not. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that.
Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with the third degree? Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and... Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Thank you for trusting me. Really, I... I appreciate it, Big B. since I got any mail. Seventh day in a row. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it, something's going on.
I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Bluebeard's file. Never trusted this guy. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? Get a glamour, or go up to the farm. It's not complicated, Colin. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. That for me? Nope. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would, if you could. Probably. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. 
but I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Bigby. What is it? Just uh, slow down. No, keep up. We need to. Hi. Hello. Good morning or evening. <laughs> yeah. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. This girl is she's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. Just a girl. We didn't have a whole lot of time to chat. A woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... terrible. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of... Us? Do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. I'll have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? What is... A 
it's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I, I don't recognize it. Neither do I. Strange cut. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp or something with magic attached to it. Sorry, this is just so surreal. <sighs> um, what... what do you want to do next? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. No signs that it's been here long. Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Just some loose trash. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. find their way here. there. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big B. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to talk Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. 
It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. We should wait until we have more to tell him. Right now, all we know is a girl is dead. Telling Crane doesn't change that, and I've got all the motivation I need to find out who did this. That sounds... reasonable, but... I don't know. I'll think about it. I just don't want him interfering. Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. What, are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. If anyone's to blame, it's me. You don't need to be yelling at her. Oh, your role in this is duly noted. Yes, let's talk about that. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Bluebeard was mentioned. Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak, so don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. The guy has a history of beheading young women. I'd say that's something worth checking out. If all you're operating off of is ancient history, we're all in much more trouble than I imagined. By that rationale, you're a suspect as well, Wolf. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You know what? Stop. We'll get on it right away, sir. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, I guess I should have listened to you and waited. Wasn't gonna say I told you so. You don't have to say it. It would have been better to have more to offer. Get our ducks in a row. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe.
How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian? Hey, Magic Mirror, I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! Show me Snow White. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me the woodsman. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Jack brought him back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Supposed to me. 
We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. can help. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alelairo? I'll go look it up. Alelairo? That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey Skin Girl, also known as Donkey Skin, also known as <laughs> Ass Skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of Donkey Skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Oh. His daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... name was Faith. Yeah. You should talk to the husband. You think he did it? With this sort of thing, it's usually the person who knew them best. Or it's someone completely random. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? It makes animals shit gold. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elfish hand. What's Bricklebit? 
A magic word. What's it do? Makes animals shit gold. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Axe of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing? I only translate. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. Nice hat. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Beast. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. And there's me. Not a good day. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah. Dwarves. The less said about that, the better. You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Previsions muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Faith's father, the old king. Guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Show me... Show me Faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. He's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. 